G'day everyone, it's Michael Beresford here from OpenCorp for today's Property Wealth WOD, our workout of the day. Without doubt, one of the most common questions I get asked when talking to clients about property, is they say, Michael, how far away is it from the CBD? Um, and the answer is, well, that's not the most important question to be asking. Um, it's what we're conditioned to ask um, and while CBDs are important from a capital cities perspective, um, the landscape now compared to 50 and 60 years ago is very, very different. So I thought it would take a few minutes to bring everyone up to speed on what is important around property location and specifically the capital city side of things. First and foremost, um, there's no doubt that price growth is driven by that simple factor of supply and demand. Okay, so as a quick recap, the reason why we want to be investing in the capital cities and the main capital cities in Australia is because they have the least amount of land and the most amount of people. And that equals the least amount of supply and the most amount of demand. Okay, um, gives us better capital growth, gives us better rental growth, provided we buy the right investments within those capital city locations. Okay. Um, I've been to a bunch of amazing regional places in Australia over my time. Um, and while they're fantastic and they have appeal, they don't have appeal to me as an investor. Uh, reason being that regional centres, um, they have a lot more available land supply and they don't have the same population and they just don't have the same diverse employment and the volume of employment to be able to be bringing population growth to these regional areas to give us the capital growth that will allow us to be able to get the next property and the next property and the next property. Okay, so um, there's a quick recap, I guess, on capital cities versus regional, uh, regional areas. Um, in regional areas, yes, the rental yields can be fantastic, but as we've talked about, another 100 or $200 a week in our pocket is not gonna create enough um, uh, wealth for us to be able to have the financial choices that we're all after, okay? Capital growth and then compound growth over a portfolio is really where it needs to be. If we're looking at within the capital cities, however, there's been a massively uh, different landscape uh, on the way that governments are rolling out capital cities now uh, compared to what they were doing uh, several decades ago. So given that uh, our parents most likely and their parents have educated us around it's important to be close to the city, uh, back in the 50s and 60s and so on, that was definitely the case. Reason being that the vast majority of all of the jobs were located in the central business district. Okay, and over the decades, as we've had population growth and we've had urban sprawl, it's just not plausible to think that everyone that's living uh, a long way from the CBD will be commuting to the CBD for work. It's not practical. It's very expensive from an infrastructure perspective for the government. Um, and so really what their strategy has been is to really been take the jobs to the people and create these mini CBDs or principal activity centres as they're called within the suburbs. Okay, So they are hubs of um, uh, government spending, infrastructure development and employment growth uh, so that even people that are living in the middle to outer ring only have a you know, 20 to 30 minute commute to, uh, to work. So, uh, the question really isn't how far uh, from the CBD do we need to be? The question is, what's the job proximity uh, relative to the location where we're looking to invest and making sure that we've always got minimal available supply between where we are and where the jobs are and the CBD and that we've got above average population growth coming into the area. That's a pretty good recipe for success. We'll see you next time.